you'll find this to be an even function and hence you understand it it is twice of 0 to 0 to infinity for this you will have to go and see the definite integral videos which i recommend you to do so the e is 0 to infinity okay lambda r lambda r upon 2 pi epsilon naught yes ask dl upon r square plus l square to the power 3 by 2 right here r is a constant l is a variable that that thing has to be kept in mind understand now there are techniques of solving this and the best of them is is to substitute l is equal to r tan theta what happens that makes this this one and it it makes the root term vanish right so what do i do i write this as lambda r upon 2 pi epsilon naught lambda r okay let l is equal to r tan theta it implies that dl is equal to r sec square theta d theta correct i am also changing the limits if if l is equal to 0 then then r is equal then then theta uh, r is a fixed quantity so what is then tan theta is equal to zero it implies that theta is equal to zero if l is equal to infinity then tan theta is equal to infinity it implies that theta is equal to pi by two even otherwise you see if l goes to infinity okay this starts becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and and a line going from here and touching the infinity will become parallel to this line is it not mm -hmm. the theta will go to pi by 2 no? when principal value Hmm. Hmm. But but it will go to pi by 2 no, ultimately. It will never reach pi by 2 but kind of it will start tending to pi by 2. No, that was when the function was not defined. The function was not defined at that point. What about the when we had to split it into 0 to pi by 4 and pi by 4 to pi by 2. What happens to infinity by r? Infinity by r is infinity. Infinity divided by any, any finite number is infinity. So, so, or you could have done this. You can uh, kind of find out the integral by this method and no. substitute back. Both, both are allowed, right? So, this is equal to lambda r upon but but for to understand this well you will have to go through the integration which at this juncture maybe you have not gone but since we have the video you can go and see the integral video to to actually get a hang of it okay so so lambda r upon 2 pi epsilon naught okay and and so so sorry sorry so dl is actually r sec square theta d theta divide by it is r square plus r square tan square theta to the power 3 by 2 this is equal to lambda r upon 2 pi epsilon naught and this goes from 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 so it is r sec square theta d theta this is r square plus r square comes out and becomes 
आर क्यूब आर क्यूब सेक क्यूब थीटा राइट बिकॉज दिस इज आर स्क्वायर इन टू वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा इज इट नॉट टू द पावर थ्री बाई टू दिस बिकम्स आर स्क्वायर सेक स्क्वायर थीटा टू द पावर थ्री बाई टू विच इज आर स्क्वायर टू द पावर थ्री बाई टू इन टू सेक स्क्वायर थीटा टू द पावर थ्री बाई टू विच इज इक्वल टू आर क्यूब इन टू सेक क्यूब थीटा सो दैट्स वाई आई एम राइटिंग आर क्यूब इन टू सेक क्यूब थीटा यू वॉट डज इट बिकम इट बिकम्स This becomes cos theta, and and an r square here, which comes out and makes this. So this is lambda upon two pi epsilon naught epsilon naught into r, right? This is r square and upon r cube, and this becomes cos theta d theta, correct? Zero to pi by two. What is the integral of cos theta? So it is sine theta. So lambda upon two pi epsilon naught r sine theta is the rule of the definite integral to to put the upper limit first and subtract and then put the lower limit. So it is sine pi by two minus sine zero. Which is equal to lambda upon two pi epsilon naught r into one minus zero. That is lambda upon two pi epsilon naught r. Okay, so I get the field as I get the field as e equal to lambda upon two pi epsilon naught r. Okay. So when did we apply Gauss's law? We didn't apply. We never applied the Gauss's law due to a reason. I wanted to do it by the method of first principle. And you you see the you see how involved it becomes, right? It is now that we'll apply the Gauss's law. Okay. We have not applied the Gauss's law yet. but i have told you a way to find it okay and now you will feel that if gauss's law was there or if i apply the gauss's law how simple and easy it becomes and that, then you'll understand the the power of the gauss's law okay so that is what we will be doing next fine we will be doing next we'll apply the gauss's law and try to find it out by the gauss's law fine okay it's only then that you'll be able to realize how how simple and easy it becomes right okay